Oh, okay, pigmen. Hey, everybody, it's Paul Soros Jr. here. Today is May 5th, 2011, and I just have a few things to say. This is a video log, I guess you would call it vlog for short, and I don't do many of these, but I thought maybe it was about time because uh, I've got a few things going on with my channel, or at least I have uh, a plan for my channel. <laughs> yeah, I've got a plan, and um, something very cool is happening to my channel or will happen very soon and I wanted to talk about that. I've got 96,000 subscribers. Woohoo! Amazing. You guys are awesome. I can't believe um, I've got that many in just nine months or so and it's all um, it's all happened kind of uh, almost by accident but anyway I will get to that. I just wanted to hop in here in the game and I wanted to show you my very first world ever. All right, so this is my very first world, as far as I recall. But that's not the reason I'm making this video. But let's just take a walk out here in the patio. I made this patio. It's really ugly. It's a lot of cobble and stone mixed together and some dirt placed in random spots. So I uh, apologize for that. But um, again, this was uh, the first time I loaded up Minecraft, which goes back to July of 2010 didn't really know what I was doing there were no tutorials and in fact that's why I was inspired to make my own tutorials because I was clueless noob and uh, I made my first tutorial how to survive the first night and the rest is history as you know um, I have a series now on that or maybe you don't know but if you if you've been following me for a while then you are probably aware of that series anyway um, so I'm gonna stand here and look out my little balcony it seems secure and safe from here anyway um, a little beacon down there. See, I was even making beacons back then. This is my very first structure. Besides a hidey hole somewhere out there. But anyway, that is not why I'm here. The reason I'm here is I wanted to talk about my YouTube channel and the direction I'm going to be going in, or at least the future of the channel. Um, one of the things I want to do, and, you know, I had written down some notes on a piece of paper with a bunch of items I wanted to talk about, but... I'm home for lunch right now and I left that list in my office. <laughs> so a lot of good it's going to do me there. My father would say, well, at least you won't lose it. But dad's not here right now with me. Um, <clears throat> excuse me, so he can't yell. But uh, oh, here's my little basement. I did some digging down here. One of my first mining endeavors. Whee! I didn't really know how to mine back then. I just dug a straight, almost straight channel, tunnel found water and then I ran scared or something I don't know so yeah this goes way back to like like I said last summer uploaded my first video on the last day of July that was oh somebody here hello sounds like you're walking on grass um oh yeah okay I'm not far from the surface okay I'm sorry I had to cut that out my um, how to clear my throat. Okay, I just had lunch and I'm burping and things here. <clears throat> really pleasant. So, uh, to get back to my channel, yeah, I said this was going to be a quick video. I lied. <laughs> Love that video. Uh, I'm going to be doing some more with my channel. I'm always going to do Minecraft and I, can, I will continue to do Minecraft. Ah, oh, the music is just perfect setting. It's just, just so appropriate. Lovely evening. So, um, let me just say that I do this as a hobby. I do have a full-time job. Um, I have a business. I run a business. I own a business. I started it about six years ago. I do computer tech work. And, um, that's keeping me pretty busy lately. That's why I don't upload as many videos as I would like. So that keeps me busy. I'm also a husband and a father of three. You may know I'm not married to three people. I'm a father of three children. And um, and that keeps me busy. <laughs> oh, by the way, this balcony was obviously long before spiders. I thought this was a super safe, secure place, and it probably is without spiders. I'm talking really fast here because I'm trying to get through here. <clears throat> I'm trying to get back to work. Um, just kidding. So I wish I could upload more. I'm going to try to come up with a plan, a schedule and start doing um, something a little more consistently if I can. So here's the deal. I will, I'm always going to be doing Minecraft, at least for the, for the 
long foreseeable near future um, <laughs> that makes no sense whatsoever if it didn't make sense to you then it's probably because it didn't make any sense to me I will be making Minecraft for a long time still loving this game there's a lot to do it's not even retail release yet it's amazing and um, I'm always going to be doing Minecraft I still enjoy it quite a bit. I play with my kids. Okay, so back to the show. So, yes, Minecraft. I'm going to continue doing Minecraft Thrive, uh, Survive and Thrive series. As new things come out and uh, um, updates change the game, add things or modify things, like the water ladder has been changed now, so I'm going to have to go back and do something about that. Uh, the uh, powered rails, I'm going to have to up update my uh, powered rail system, which is unpowered right now. I'll make it powered. And, in fact, why don't we... Um, I wanted to show you this from the outside. How ugly this, terrible it looks, but I thought that was a spider. I put flowers up, though. That's nice. Um, so I will continue to do the Survive and Thrive series. I will also continue to do uh, the beta updates as they come out, and I will do my test drives and try the new stuff and show you guys what's new. That's always fun and cool. And uh, Minecraft Dad, I will be doing. Um, we'll continue with those when the kids want to play. It's not always easy to get them to play things. Timing isn't always perfect, but um, when they want to play, when I when I can round them all up, we'll do that. I don't know if we'll ever get everybody on at once, but um, you know, here and there, I'll probably play uh, occasionally with each one, or maybe one or two at a time, so forth and so on. Um, my wife and I are planning a series. In fact, we've already recorded some of it, and I just want to finish Man vs. Minecraft before I get to it, and that's going to be called Man Woman wild uh, man woman wild no that's the actual tv show man woman minecraft and uh that'll be starring myself and her and uh it's kind of like Ma man versus minecraft but with uh the two of us and you know she's never played a video game other than minecraft for uh, a couple of hours so um that's going to be fun <laughs> i think <laughs> right now we're doing a uh, scenario based thing and it's going to be cool um, getting on to Man vs. Minecraft, I'm, season one is pretty much over. I have one, just adjust this mic here, I don't mean to blow into it so loudly. Um, we're going to, I'm going to finish that up. I have one more episode of season one, and that will be my extraction, and vacate the area. And I've got something kind of fun planned for that, and uh, I hope to do that this week, this weekend perhaps. <coughs> Excuse me. And um, and then season two will begin. I'm going to do a complete video log for season two. Um, we talk about the rules and how I'm going to tweak them. I really enjoyed doing Man vs. Minecraft. Um, I like the role playing aspect. It's a very light role play, but it's it's enjoyable. Um, I hope you guys enjoy it. And I'm going to do more of that, but I'm going to spice it up. I you know I don't want to get into it too much right now. I'm going to do a separate um, video log for that. But I will continue, and that will be uh, very soon. So, uh, let's see, that's Minecraft. And I'll probably do some more random stuff with other people, dual commentaries. Um, geez, I hope my voice is coming through okay here, because it's not showing up very well in Camtasia Recorder. Oh boy, I might have to test this. I'm going to test this. Hang on. Let me kill this. All right, well, I'm back, and the audio seems to be working perfectly fine. Everybody's burning upstairs. Thank you very much. Making all kinds of noise. Let me go into my soundproof room here. Okay. Soundproof room. What do I have here anyway? See, this is <laughs> this is when you're new. You have nothing. You just experiment with garbage. Oh, look at that mushroom school. And uh, so Minecraft. Yes. So I'll be doing some Minecraft. I also plan oh, my first murder holes. Chop chop. Wow. Greatest invention ever. Dun, 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 dun. Um, except that pigs could come in there because I had screwed it up. So I will be doing some more dual comms. I hope to start playing with some other folks. And uh, I've been in collaboration with a few people. Let me show you the outside of my very first Evoi structure. Isn't it beautiful? Now, don't lie. Don't lie. Don't say it's beautiful just because I said it's beautiful. Now, see, this is bright green grass as opposed to my tutorial world. This was like an emerald green. So it's not my computer. All right. So there it is, my awesome structure. First building ever. Awesome. So now, getting beyond Minecraft. 
Um, I do plan on my, continue with Minecraft, as I have said, but I have, let me just tell you, I'm, I'm a huge PC gamer. I've been playing PC computer games since the late 70s. So I'm aging myself here, but I had an Atari 400 with that little chiclet keyboard, which is awful. God awful design. I don't know who thought about that, but that person should be flogged and um, tarred and feathered or something. It's ridiculous. And so anyway, I uh, yeah, I used to code on it and write you know basic and play games on it. And then I had an Atari 800. So anyway, I've been playing PC games since then. I have I have not been without a computer since 1979. I love computer gaming. It's a more than just a hobby. It's a passion. And my kids are now old enough to start playing some games with me, and that's awesome. So we're, we've been playing a little Magicka. Uh, my daughter and I played some Magicka last night. My son's getting involved now, and his friends, we, we might do some co-op Magicka. But the point is, I'm going to be uploading more of other games, videos of other games, because um, as much as I love Minecraft, I love PC, PC gaming in general. And there's a lot of awesome games coming out. I'm a huge fan of indie games, indie stands for independent. Uh, I'm sure most of you know that, but if you don't, indie, I-N-D-I-E, is short for independent, and that means small publisher, a small developer, guys working in their basement or their garage, um, or in a small office and, and working their tail off. In fact, Minecraft is an indie title. And I am um, going to be looking at some more in independent titles and playing them. Um, one that I wanted to do that just came out was called Dwarfs with an F. And that just came out on Steam yesterday. I bought it immediately. I contacted the developer and I asked if I could make videos and he emailed me back and he said absolutely. And then uh, by the time I got home, that was around lunch, I actually played at lunch for about a half an hour to learn the game. Came home and, oh wait, I have it too. <clears throat> Hold on one sec. I know you don't want to see me stop this, but stop Minecraft. Hang on. Actually, I'm sorry, my bad. I can't run dwarfs in a window, and I'm using uh, Camtasia. I need a window. So uh, I'm not going to do that right now. But um, anyway, so I, I bought it at lunch. I played it for half an hour, got familiar with it. Hey, wolf! In my old world! So cool, but I have no bones. Darn. I'm gonna go kill me some skeletons. Um, okay, back on track, Paul. Focus. Focus. Look at the wolves! Three right here. What is four? All right, all right. There's a formula here, and I'm gonna have to figure it out. And there's a bone. <laughs> oh, what are the odds? Seriously, I'm gonna get me at least one, right? Oh, you're mine, little doggy. Oh, jeepers! Why do I do that? I just punch my dogs. All right, let me feed you. Sorry. All right, getting back to um. Dwarf. So anyway, yeah, so I'm like, cool. This looks pretty cool. Contacted the developer. And he said, yeah, please. And then as soon as I got home, well, I got my regular routine that I had to deal with, which was uh, I work out and then I, um, you know, I cook and clean and help the kids with the homework and all that stuff. And then by the time I finally sat down at the computer, no, not like me yet. How many bones do I have to go through? Um, I loaded up, sat down to make a video. Ooh, frozy. And uh, what do I see on YouTube? Since I load it up, I see Dwarfs by Yogscast. Simon plays Dwarfs. And I'm like, oh, I knew that was coming. Um, not that it matters. Hey, good. You know, it's good for the developer. Um, I love getting the word out for indi ind independent developers. Um, so anyway, oh, and then Total Biscuit did it too. But the point is, um, I love video. I love these little games that you find, and I've got a slew of them. Desktop dungeons. I've got a couple um, installed here right now that I just picked up, and I find these on indie uh, indie games blog, um, podcasts, and just kind of looking around the web and finding these little games. I'm going to start doing more of those. I, I love them. <clears throat> All right. So um, that said, I'm going to have a series called uh, Show and Tell. I think at least I'm dubbing it that right now. And that will be, uh, I'm going to pick an independent game or just a, whoa, just a small game, uh, unknown game. It may not be an independent game. It might just be um, something that we haven't heard of in the past. Maybe old, maybe new. Let's go down here. And I plan on uh, doing this intro. 
So the show and tell will be kind of like an intro. It's just, hey guys, look at this video. It's very cool. I mean, look, check out this game. It's worthy of your attention. All right, there's some water here. If I hit that sand, we're all going to die. Get out of there, puppy. Come over here. There's a lot of sand above my head. That's a trap. It's a trap! <laughs> How did you get wet? You're above. Oh, that was you swimming. All right, stay right there. I'm going to do this. Oh, gosh! No! No! Oh, my gosh. Maybe if I... Oh, I didn't even see that sand there. Whoa, that's a lot of sand. Oh, that was terrible. That was terrible. I'm going to be traumatized for life. Oh, my gosh. I should have just ran away. Because they would have just spawned right with me somewhere. Oh, my man. All right. Anyway, it's just a game. It's just a game. Just keep telling yourself. So, um, so yeah, that series would be called something like uh, Show and Tell. I'm going to... What is going on? There's a, there's a whole gaggle. Pack. It's a gaggle pack. Look at the... <laughs> I need to figure this out. I need to know what's going on here. I'm going to do a tutorial on it. On how to find wolves reliably. This is insanity. I've never seen so many in one spot. All right. Maybe I can finish my thought here. Um, so I will be doing that maybe once a week, I guess. I don't know. Or when a new game comes out and I want to share it with you. Um, and just to give you an idea of some of the games that are coming out that I'm looking at. Uh, Project Zomboid, which looks awesome. I've been in contact with the developers there. And they will send me a copy, hopefully, um, sometime soon. It's not quite ready, but I will take a look at that and bring it to you. It's a zombie shooter thingy. Uh, Terraria, I'm very excited about. Um, let's see, there's one that I just found today, and I've talked to the developer. Really young guy, very nice. Um, it's called Survivors of Ragnarok. I may do that one later today. He's already given me the go-ahead, and uh, I'm going to try to get that out to you. So these are all games I think, not only do they interest me because they look cool and fun um, but I think that they may interest you if you're a Minecraft player because a lot of them may share similarities in Minecraft not all of them but some will do I have any more bones? All right, I need to get back to my shelter, oh, here's a beacon so um, so there's that I'll be doing some okay that was weird Camtasia said I was running out of hard drive space because it was stupidly recording to my C drive, which is a system partition, and it's limited in space. Anyway, so that's all sorted out, and let's get over to that... See, what is this now? This could be my... something here. I wouldn't have put that there. Alright, come to me, doggy. Oh, it's horrible! How dreadful that my poor dogs were suffocated in sand. Oh. Alright, there's nothing here. This is just beacon to show me the other beacons. But where did I come from? That's the question. I guess I should head over... There's a beacon. Is that a beacon? Beacon? Yeah. Alright, let's go. Okay, so let's head over to the safety of my little balcony. And we can watch the sunset together. Oh, no. I'm not going to make it. I don't even have a bow. I don't think there were bows in this game when I started. So, um, independent games, getting back to them, I will be doing more of those. There are some other games that are out that I'm interested in playing. Um, like Portal 2, it's not an independent game, but it's a game that has a lot of appeal to it. And I'm a gamer, number one, and that's what I do. So, um, I may be playing some Portal 2, or you know, World of Warcraft type MMOs and things like that. It doesn't have to be an independent game. But, so, okay, getting back to the whole point of this was I will be doing indie games, show-and-tell series, and I will pl be playing other games as well. All right, you stay right here. There's no sand here, don't worry. You have to give me the worried face. I shan't kill you, like your little den mates. Um, so, okay, let me think about that list I had written down. Uh, new series... 
blah 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 let me pause here okay that was weird Camtasia said I was running out of hard drive space because it was stupidly recording to my C drive which is a system partition and it's limited in space anyway so that's all sorted out and let's get over to that see what is this now this could be my something here I wouldn't have put that there all right come to me doggy oh it's horrible how dreadful that my poor dogs were suffocated and sand oh. all right there's nothing here this is just a beacon to show me the other beacons but where did I come from that's the question I guess I should head over there's a beacon is that a beacon beacon yeah. All right, let's go. Okay, so let's head over to the safety of my little balcony. And yeah, we can watch the sunset together. Oh, no. I'm not going to make it. I don't even have a bow. I don't think there were bows in this game when I started. So, um, independent games, getting back to them, I will be doing more of those. There are some other games that are out that I'm interested in playing. Um, like Portal 2, it's not an independent game, but it's a game that has a lot of appeal to it. And I'm a gamer, number one, and that's what I do. So, um, I may be playing some Portal 2, or you know, World of Warcraft type MMOs and things like that. It doesn't have to be an independent game. But, so, okay, getting back to the whole point of this was I will be doing indie games, Show and tell series, and I will pl be playing other games as well. All right, you stay right here. There's no sand here. Don't worry. You have to give me the worried face. I shan't kill you, like your little den mates. Um. So okay, let me think about that list I had written down. Uh, new series. Blah 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 blah. Let me pause here. Oh, how could I forget? Okay, this doesn't have anything to do with this game, so let's just close this out, and let's go to my YouTube channel. Yeah, so I'm approaching um, 100,000 here. Let me just refresh this page. Oh, i got to stop this thing here. And 96,000, so I should probably hit 100,000 in a few days, and... I need to do something. I, I want to celebrate. I didn't really do much at 50. I didn't do much at 25 just because I'm so crazy busy with everything. I, I just, you know, I lose track of time and, and then by the time I, I think about it, it's already too late. So this time, 100,000 is a big deal for me and um, I want to do something special. I have a few ideas, but um, give me some ideas. I, I think um, there are two videos I may make one well I know one for sure for, for certain and that will be a, a thank you I want to do a big thank you to the subscribers to Notch and some people in the Minecraft community the Minecraft community as a whole um, and people that have been influential um, in my getting started and had have given me a lot of support in various ways so I want to do a really big thank you there and um, that's one video and then another video I may do is a behind the scenes look of my making of videos, how to how I get started. Maybe take a look back and and, and chronologically take a look at how I got started. Um, and I've been saving screenshots of various things and statistics and just see how the, the channel has grown and how things have changed in my my studio here, my studio, which is basically a, a computer desk in, in my basement office. And so I might even break out the, uh, you know, a camera for that one, you know, a video camera and, and give you guys a tour of my office and show you some serious geekery um, <clears throat> mixed in with some serious not geekery. But uh, now I'll show you this place. There's not much to it. And, and maybe I can get involved in showing you how I do the videos and share that um, that process with you because it's it's. Um, it's pretty difficult and it's very time consuming and again this is a hobby of mine I don't do this full time it's it, you know this is why um, I can't bang out videos on a daily basis like some other you know big youtubers and um, so um, I will show you the process behind making a video and and you'll see that it, it's it is time consuming 
it does uh, take a considerable amount of energy and thought. Um, it's not just recording me playing the game and upload to YouTube. So I'd like to share that. And it's an interesting um, development process anyway, and you can learn. If you guys are interested in, in making your own videos, you might be able to pick up some tips. And, and you get to see um, you know, my, my office. Which may not, may or may not be very interesting, but uh, I might do something like that. So that would be a video. Um, and um, I would also like to do. Let me just get everybody in here so you guys can see everybody in my recommendations box. And I'm going to give everybody here a thank you because they've had some sort of influence um, on my YouTube career in one way or another. And and the other thing is. Um, What's this? Man versus Minecraft. Yeah, I'm going to get a whole new Man versus Minecraft website. This has not been updated. It's pretty much a static site. Someone helped me, well, sent me all this, uh, sent me the uh, WordPress theme for, and I'm going to make some changes there. I'm going to update this map. Um, anyway, getting back to the 100,000, and I'm planning a, a some kind of a, a live stream, and I'll be playing... Minecraft with uh, some other guests probably I'll get some people I'll put the call out and see if anybody wants to join me and maybe I'll do a live stream at some point or other and you guys can bang questions off of me and you get to watch us play and we'll do some fun stuff um, I may have some prizes to give away as well and we'll have to see I haven't really done a lot of planning there again my time is severely limited when it comes to that stuff I usually uh, just wing it <laughs> as I'm winging this right now, but uh, I'll do my best. So there you have it. That's pretty much my vlog for May 5th, 2011. Um, just to recap, I'm going to be uploading some new games to my uh, channel. It's going to be independent games mostly. Um, obviously, some more, plenty more Minecraft coming your way, and. Um, and I will also um, be uploading some Let's Plays as well. Oh, I think that's what I meant to say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm, I might just pick a game, particularly old games. Like, I love old retro games that I've pl either played through or haven't completed yet. And I would love to just sit down and play one like, a, like an RPG. You know, there's some great RPGs out there. And they're either past their prime, but still loads of fun. Um, and I just want to start one up and play right through it and do a, an entire Let's Play. You know, so day one to the end, the completion of the game, whatever it happens to be. It might be a shooter, it could be a, a role playing game, it might be a strategy game, I don't know. But uh, I really want to do more games. So um, that's going to happen. And what else? I think that's pretty much it. So, anyway, thanks for hanging out and watching my videos and sticking with me over the last few months or eight or nine months and uh, I really appreciate all the all the likes and the, and the love and the and the appreciation and all the nice kind words that everybody says and even the ones that aren't so nice or kind well thanks for your feedback um, <laughs> so anyway I think I'm done here thank you very much for watching and I will see all of you soon enough goodbye